I've added another EndNote, and I want to just show you the one last section on the References tab called Citations and Bibliography. After you have a number of references, you should have a bibliography at the end of your document. What I can do is I'll get ready to insert a new reference, and I will go to the References tab and choose Insert Citation. So this includes some instructions on how to use it, but once I click on Insert Citation, I have the option of adding just a placeholder so that I know this is where I got my reference from, but I'm not going to add the information yet, or I can just add a new source. So I'm going to add a new source at the same time. I get a new dialog box, and this actually helps out a lot with the type of uh, reference that you're going to choose, even if you uh, don't know all the details. Because you, you'll notice that back on the tab up at the top here, you can see that I choose a specific style. So this is the MLA style of the 7th edition, and it is going to be a book, and I can type uh, one of the authors, and in this case it actually tells me that the author names should be in a specific place and in a specific format. And if I wasn't sure of the format, I can even choose the edit button, and it actually shows me how I can add authors one at a time, and it will format the specific uh, entry for me. The title of the book is called Understanding Computers, and I'll just fill in the rest of the information. And once all the information is entered, you can see that there's a, a, check marking, a check mark for showing all bibliography fields, in case there was even more that you wanted to add, but I just simply need to use the more basic method. And there's a tag name, and I can change this from More13 to Morley. 2013. But that's a personal preference. Now that I've inserted the reference here, I can actually go up and I can insert a couple more, or I can click on Manage Sources, view all the lists in the source document, and you can see I actually have a couple of uh, sources that I've added from other documents I was working on. So you can see that I can have a master list of all my sources and insert them or add them into any of my documents that I might be working on. So I'll hit close and now I will have other references that I can use and I'm actually just going to go to the bibliography tool, add a bibliography, click on it once and you can see that I already have some samples here, or these samples come in, so I can either choose a bibliography or a works cited. Works cited is used in the MLA style, so I'll choose works cited. And here we have proper works cited. Of course, it got stuck in the wrong spot in our document. So I'm going to undo that, and I will simply get to the end of our document. After the end notes, I'm going to insert a new page. I guess not at the end notes. I'll insert a new page. And at the top of this page, I will simply insert, go back to references, and plus bibliography. And now my work cited is listed at the end of the document, and everything looks good. And that's how you use footnotes, endnotes, and the citation and bibliography tool within Word 2010. <laughs>